Sunrises just don't show in this camera. It's really orange, not yellow. They're pretty. I miss my sunrise walks, but another month or two and I will hopefully back out there again for the sunrise. It's Sunday morning now. You see I'm starting. Oh, this is barely starting his morning. Is okay in there? Oh, you were snoozing. <laughs> You're the funniest boy. Would you like me to uncover you or were you quite happy like that? You're a good boy. You're a funny, funny fella. Rosie's over there. She was snuggling with me before, weren't you? You were snuggling with me before. We went a bit snoozy at six o'clock and we went up for about 45 minutes. Are we up at five? Might have been up for an hour, I can't remember now. Let's get up and go back to sleep. I think I'm like, oh, you're, you're cute. I've got a bit of a sore back, which is why I just got up when I woke up. I've got my heat pack there, and a cup of tea, and I'm just watching YouTube. Gonna catch up again, I've got behind again. Oh. I do apologise if I try and watch. Um, well, all my favourites, obviously, but I particularly try and watch people that I have like, conversations with that comment on my blogs. I try and watch. But so many of you guys are daily vloggers, so it's really, really hard to keep up with everyone. But I do watch as many as I can. And if I don't watch every day, I, I might have to sometimes skip a few days. So I hope you guys understand. Um, just can't do it all and now because I'm feeling better I've got so much more energy so I'm up off the couch doing a lot more stuff around the house which means again less time for watching YouTube so <laughs> I've got more people I want to watch and less time to watch them so I just I do what I can <laughs> and I try and sort of if I can't watch every day I try and watch every few days just so I can and see what you're up to I'd love to be able to watch all the time but Life goes on and things need done. And while I'm feeling good, I'm taking full advantage of being able to do things. And then I've still got more things to share with you guys too. So it's a hard balance to make. I hardly ever read blogs anymore. I love reading my blogs. I've got a whole heap of favourites and I very rarely find time to read them. So I feel sorry for my blog friends because they get very neglected in it these days. Uh, I need more time in the day. An extra few hours would be really good. I'm dressed and ready to take the dogs for a walk, but before I go, I'm going to get just tie the kids up a bit. Not too bad, but I'm going to just wash empties, do a bit of tidying, and I'm going to make up this gluten free banana bread. And um, because it takes 45 minutes to an hour to bake, so while it's baking, I can take the dogs on their walk. So that's the plan. Just try and tidy up a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, still working on the kitchen. I've started filming what I've been doing, but um, I didn't get very far on Friday, so it's going to take a while. Probably see the the kitchen, the clutter and clean video. I only got the end cover done and that. Look, it's already messed there again. That's a problem with that area. It does attract. Well, um, <laughs> I've got to find somewhere to put these lunch boxes, so that's another little thing I might try and tackle later on today. Hey, Zoe. <laughs> Well, that's my mixture, but I didn't actually use almond meal. I used ground up almonds, and I don't think they're ground up fine enough. Um, but I guess I'll cook it, and we'll see. The mixture tastes nice, but as you can sort of see here, the almonds are... You want to focus? There, yeah, the almonds aren't quite ground up properly. Let's hope it took that all right. I got Christy to do the dishwasher, much to her horror. <laughs> she's supposed to be on kitchen duty this week, but she hasn't been, because she's been sick, I've been doing pretty much everything, so I'm going to do the dishwasher. So now I'm going to take the dogs on their walk, and then that should be almost ready. Well, that should even longer. we will get the kitchen finished clean off the kitchen, and that should, bread should come out. And fingers crossed it will be cooked. And then I'll go get my shower and get ready. I think we're heading out about 11, which is just over two hours now, so we need to get a move along. But I've also got washing. Amy's washing on to get hung out too, so 
Getting a bit dark, so that's good. We're on our way back now. See those trees. I'm not so sure they're wattles because I didn't know wattles got that big. You can see that one behind. They're really big plants. <laughs> I will research and I will let you know that they are indeed wattles. They probably are. But they're huge. So I thought I'd show you today's breakfast. It's a bit strange. I used to have this as a child for lunch. It's just an English muffin and I just get a whole wheat one. Yes, yeah, spread out tomato sauce. I think it's supposed to grill the bread first, but I don't bother with that. <laughs> so I just do it one. And then top with some grated cheese. And the original recipe was um, a frankfurt cut up, but obviously being a vegetarian, I don't do that anymore. So they're kind of like a little pizza. They're in a kid's recipe book that I had as a kid, obviously. So, uh, <laughs> so and you just put them in the, the grill. So they're melted and they're really yummy and I haven't had one for ages because I've not had a lot of bread but I'm going to have some bread today. <laughs> I just think I've been, I thought of them the other day, I've been feeling like them ever since so I haven't got any almond milk to make a green smoothie anyway so we'll have that today. Well here it is already, I probably should have cooked them a bit longer but I'm hungry. And I should clarify for you Americans it's tomato ketchup not tomato sauce or we call that tomato sauce but you want ketchup not pasta sauce. Look at that cup of tea, Chrissy's working on homework. And what's Amy doing? Wanting to eat. Wanting to eat, yeah. Oh, you've got a few more hours to go. Yeah. <laughs> I think it turned out alright. It's um, you can see it looks a bit crunchy, but it um, it's all held together and everything, which is what I was a bit concerned about. So I guess we'll taste it later and see how it is. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with this deodorant. I've actually just had to wipe it off. It was stinging under my arms so bad. I haven't just shaved or anything. It's probably been a week since I shaved under my arms. Um. So I don't know why it's just I had a few days but I've managed to be through it but it's actually still stinging I've tried to wipe it off and still stinging under my arms so I'm back to back to one of my old deodorants so I don't know I might do a bit of research because it seems to work okay it's obviously not as strong as these other deodorants but you know obviously more natural but it's stinging that's so weird that most days it's okay and an odd day I've had a little bit of sting but today really really badly so nothing changed just got out the shower and did my normal stuff so while I'm here <laughs> I'll show you that's the um, moisturizer I used today and the perfume of today's choice. I'm in a clothing crisis because it's actually warm outside so I need summer clothes and I haven't stopped having my wardrobe so nothing's ironed and I'm in a bit of a hurry so I just went to a, um, a top that I know is fine to wear it's a bit big now but anyway so, and I just threw a jacket over the top. Not very exciting jeans, and I've got my summer crocs on. <laughs> so, anyway, not the not the best outfit today, but we're in a hurry. People are waiting. Amy wants to be there ready to eat at 12 o'clock for the finishing the famine. So, I'm off. I'm not happy with how I look, but anyway, it's fine. But I wonder if I do. Like it's hot, so I'm going to take my jacket off now. There we go. Take my jacket off. That's too warm. Probably the outfit probably looks a bit better without the jacket. Look at that little jacket. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's fine. <laughs> we're off. Oh, so we're on our way to Jeringon. We've gone past Kayama, which is just back there. And when you go in here, you get a really nice view over Jeringon. They're, they're doing road work, so it makes it not so easy to see. You can't quite see the nice view now because of the big barrier thing. Oh, you can kind of see down there. Isn't that beautiful? So that's Wherry Beach. Wouldn't mind living down here. Very nice. I it's a nice, here we just passed. nice farm, land. That's what I like. But they always do a lot of road work. If we get enough money for farm, I like to live up in that hill. Yeah, very expensive, but very nice. And it's quite. It's such a quick run now because the, the, we improved a lot of the road past Kayama. You should take forever. Well, they're doing major road work through here. Obviously. It's a single lane going south, they obviously widen the road right up to, to make it quicker through here again too. It doesn't look very pretty though when they're doing it. But. So, finally arrived in Jeringong. We're coming in the back way. Because this avoids a lot of traffic. <laughs> it's a bit slow going through the main road. It's a cute little town as you will see. Okay, so this is the main street of Jeringong. And that over there is a very cute little gift shop. I might try and go and... Have a sticky beak in there later on. You say huge a lot. You go straight ahead. 
Yeah. Where else should we That's the main street. Which I will show you in a minute. The try and parking. Only one hour parking. Why well, is there a parking like lot up here? I didn't know that. I've never parked up here before. It's only the park, yeah. No, I suppose it's good. I suppose anywhere, isn't it? It's an unlimited parking. Badly parked people outside of me. A nice kids' play park. We're here. Amy's having a whinge because we're not here on time for her to eat at 12 o'clock. I couldn't and eat she's at 12. Hungry. <laughs> you might want to drink something. Try and get a drink. Oh, you can have the Luna Bar, Mum. It's a nice day. I have to go back to the car. I left my normal glasses in the car. Happened to me yesterday as well. Because we're in a different position when I'm a passenger. Oh, I'm trying to think. Lots of nice little gift shops here. We're in search of the vegetarian cafe though. Not oh, cute signs. Yep. There was a big, like, a, not a bigger dog back there. Yeah, you went it had to get your drinks. Oh, I had to say, I didn't know it was big. Ah, so hot. So this is where we're going. Perfect break. Hotel of organic stuff. It's vegetarian. Hotel. Not a hotel. Restaurant. Cafe. Yeah. So we've got a different table to our usual table. Oh, yeah. It's a cute little place. There is um, more tables upstairs. Yeah. So, I don't even see the menus all reflecting. There's like bean burritos and falafel wraps. I tried a few different things. It's all pretty good. Excited about your lunch? What do you have it? Cheese, open cheese milk. What you always have, isn't it? It's pretty good, yeah. And I'm getting a bean burrito. This is all cheese on toast. Cheese melt. And what have you got? Sweet like potato soup, wasn't it? Oh, so Amy is unfortunately still waiting. <laughs> Yay! So am I. We've got empty place. Oh, Amy's not going to complain when you're hungry after that. <laughs> that's huge, isn't it? It's yummy though, I've had it before. I think, and that's my burrito, and that's pretty big. I don't think I've had the burrito before. I've had it. Looks yummy. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff. So I've got one of those bottles. Nice. Overpowering. Be careful. I haven't been here for a while. It's very crowded now. What? I don't think the girls weren't here. No, no. But it's so crowded. It's a bit crazy. You can't even see everything because they've got so much in here. They've got nice stuff, but. Alright, can we move along? Any other biggest things or less stuff? I think I bought a drink bottle. I think I bought one of those drink bottles here once. Is there any graders in here? I'm sure they would have. All those platters are nice. They're nice. Oh, pretty hot. Well, that's, that's a nice little size. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice size. Yeah. So we've had our lunch and look at that nice gift shop where I bought something. <laughs> so you can see, I'm just going down to the beach to have a little look. I've got photos of me here with a little girl. When I was um, maybe about one and a half, I think, with my grandfather who passed away when I was three. But they were taken so down here, I know. But I've been playing on swings and stuff. <laughs> Do you want to go and recreate it? <laughs> Probably a different kind of swings to what they had back then. <laughs> I had a friend who lived along here, a girl I used to work with. I don't know which house she lived in now. I'm number 30, no, number 33 because it's 42. And she's along here somewhere, further back obviously. Because there's no more houses. See how pretty that is. You can tell it's um, winter. Well, yeah, it is winter. <laughs> the water's cold. There's no one in the water. One person in the water. One person swimming. Oh, they're on a kayak. They're swimming. Not in the water. You still get very cold. They're on the water. It looks like a nice day, doesn't it? But it's actually quite windy. The wind's a bit fresh. It's warm in the car once you get the breeze. There's not much surf down there. No, it's pretty fun. It'd today. be a good day to dry your clothes. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, which house my friend Ma lived in that one there, I think. Oh, it's not so pretty with all the works here. You can see in the background it's pretty. Purples. So we've got some purples there. Just grab a few different ones, Chris, that you think you like, and then we'll look at them when we get home with the picture of your bedding. Okay. So there's some purples there. Okay. There's more up here. There's some more purples here. They look blue on the video, but they're purple. Yeah. And the little trolley's cute. Mm -hmm. I the boy's going to get one. Oh, thank you. Oh, it will work now. This is a different grocery shop for you this time. I must want this one actually. I love it out and decided to come to Cold Rock. Ice creamery, I think you've got like a stone rock or something in America. Wait, no. That's right. Chocolate got, kidney with freckles. I got. Where is it? No. I got. Um. Then a cream with freckles. Dad got mine. What did you get? I got cookie dough with cream and flakes. And I got honeycomb with Tim Tam. That was adventurous for me. Blurry. You're all blurry. You're all blurry. There you go. You're not blurry anymore, Fud. Fudge loved me a lot recently. What do you I smell? Love smell. <laughs> I smell nice. I'm just cutting my my lush things in half. Breaking up. Yeah, they're not really meant to be done, but they're 10, like 10.50 each, so... Yeah. It's amazing, but they're little bits in. Yeah. I've got a few bits of smells, I didn't want to put a $10 bar, but it's a bit... Mix it all in with this one? Much. Yeah. Okay, so back home now. This is um, what I got from that Oak Home shop that was overcrowded, but had lots of goodies in it. So I ended up getting this um, glass set, because I need some more stuff for in the fridge. That's actually really cool, because I couldn't see inside it. But these little ones will be quite handy. You could probably do some, and I've probably got some that are twice that size. That's good, I'm happy with them. They'll be handy for in the fridge for storing stuff. And yeah, I've also got this plate. We've got this, and it's a nice size plate, I haven't got anything that sort of size. So it's just, uh, I think Maxwell Williams. Yeah, Maxwell Williams and Williams. Plate from that line, vivacious. So yeah, it's pretty. And we just picked up a few groceries. You can see we've got some chocolate, so I can make some more sugar cookies and some gluten free flour. And what else did we get? Oh, we got some milk and just a few bits and pieces. And the family decided they wanted a bit of chocolate, and the Fredo was on sale for 50 cents. And I did get myself one, but I'm not sure whether I'll eat it or not. I'll see. I'll be at some time. Um, yeah, so that's it. Back home, and we're going to, I'm going to be in the washing, I think. Put this stuff away and I'm going to make those cheer cookies and I can settle down for the afternoon. It's just three o'clock now. So I don't think we'll be able to do much with this afternoon. So I'll bring that washing in, 
probably get my jammies. <laughs> Why not? Make those chair cookies. And oh, I'll need to get a little bit organised for school tomorrow for um, lunches and stuff. So I bought some bread rolls down at Jerangong. And I'll um, probably boil some eggs or cook some of those corn fillets for Amy for her roll tomorrow. Oh, actually I've got some sausages in there she can have. Some of the veggie sausages. So that'll be fine. She likes them. So yeah, I'll just do her some veggie sausages on rolls. And Kevin's got some leftover turkey still. In the shop. And Chrissy and I just... This is the bedding we're looking at getting from Pottery Barn Kids. And we're just... We've worked out that the... I don't know what you can see through the camera, but some of these colours are a little bit strong. They sort of jump out and go... No. <laughs> These are um, the blue is my favourite. That, that one, that one goes, that one goes, that goes really nice. Chris is going to take this and stick them up on a wall so she can start to have a look at them in different lights. And I'm going to try and see if I can get this ordered today. And hopefully, it might come before the end of the week when we have to buy paint. Oh, end of the week! Ooh, we're painting on the weekend. I'm so excited. We're painting next weekend. Okay, time for another cup of tea. And I'm going to try some of this banana bread. Looks nice. It's chunky and moist though, so. It's nice, so I've um, but yeah, so I've got more chair cookies in the oven. Big surprise there. They are cooking, and I've got some eggs that aren't boiled yet, but I'm gonna boil them later on. And I did you know, I did some tidying up, and I've got some washing there for Aunt Christy, and I've got some almond soaking so I can make some almond milk later on. Might move that over here so I remember that's there, and the bread rolls are gonna make for lunches. So we'll do that lush bar that um, Kevin chopped up for me. I usually I stick the label, but he's throwing the label out and it doesn't really matter. It's one of the Christmas ones. So um, yeah, I'll put them in the snapback bag. It's usually a smaller one, but that was obviously two big things. So this one in there, I'll take up to the bathroom and get quite a number of bars out of that. Put your Kong there, Fuzzle. You know, you're not going outside, it's dark. So we can't go outside at night with Kongs. <laughs> he knows how to do it, he knows how to chuck it. Rosie's a bit... She's not quite so good at her Kong. She'll carry it around for a long time. Sit down at your Kong, Rosie. So dinner's a bit funny tonight. We're having some... A bit of a mix of dinner. We're having some cauliflower soup and some of the leftover quinoa baked from last night. Yeah, I'm having some okay, rose of mine. Bring some cheese for Christy's cauliflower soup. I only might want some. And the late... So this is my dinner. <laughs> a little serve of cauliflower soup and a... We'll serve with the king one. A bit odd, but anyway. And then I've got some strawberries washed to have later on because I haven't had any fruit yet today. Look at this smooching. There's a bit of smooching going on in this room. It's dead. Oh, okay. Lucky it's not smell vision Why? Rosie's stinky. Oh, she's stinky. I can't smell her. And the bottom's a bit wet looking, so there's nothing on the bottom, obviously. What are you and Daddy watching? Comedy Channel. Mm. Thanks, Christy, for just jumping in front of the camera there. I wonder if I'm ready. <laughs> She's a bit of a smooch. Hello. Well, we're just finishing the night watching some episodes of Coast, which is a BBC documentary. I think it's just soon they've been doing the Outer Hebrides, so now I want to go to the Outer Hebrides in Scotland. So I'm just going to have some strawberries and a little bit of cream. And I will, s and I will say good night. Hope you've had a good weekend. It's all over here for us. Kevin's got to go back to work tomorrow, and both the girls are going to school tomorrow. So that's good. Why are you looking at me? Kevin's looking at me behind the camera. <laughs> okay, good night. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.